at the end of episode six, Joel appears to be dying. When we return to find him with Ellie, he is in terrible shape. And in fact, is telling her to leave him because he's not gonna make it. Ellie has to make that decision. In the moment she hesitates, we are brought back in time to an Ellie we have not met. We get to see what is it like to be a kid in this world before you get thrust on this crazy journey or find out you're immune to the cordyceps. It's just a kid in a military school that feels like she doesn't belong. She has no connection with anybody else except for this one girl that left her and she thought was dead because she was gone for so long. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just ran away for a bit, that's all. If you're going through some shit, you're supposed to, I don't know, talk to your best friend about it. Riley is Ellie's only friend, really, in the QZ zone. She also has a, quite a big crush on her. Their bond and their relationship is very real and pure and fun. They have a really interesting dynamic, and I loved working with Storm to create that. Riley is played by Storm Reed. We had to find somebody that was able to not only be on Bella's level in terms of talent, but also somebody that we think would have the upper hand on Ellie, and that's a tall order. Turn right, open the door, tell me when you're there. Go. Fine. This is Riley's one last chance to show her love and appreciation before she goes away. Are you there? I'm here. Now what? The metaphor for this episode was, what is it like to skip school in the post-apocalypse? And you get to see them play an arcade game. Imagine, like, an arcade game that Ellie has a poster of in her room. She probably read about it in some old video game magazine they found. They have probably, like, seen the moves. And here they get to do it. <laughs> Riley gifts that to her. Go again? Got him right. It was so much fun to film. It was crazy, very full on. And those days were long and emotional and taxing, but honestly, they're so rewarding and so satisfying. It's really cool to just walk around and admire the work that people do. The authenticity of what the world looks like or what the mall looks like, they did an amazing job. The mall was, I think, one of the most amazing sets. We had to get a carousel. We had to do a Halloween store. We had to do a Victoria's Secret store. What? Nothing, I was just trying to imagine you wearing that. Shut up! <laughs> Riley is kind of testing out the waters and seeing how Ellie feels, and she has a little crush on her, so it's kind of like a date, but not really. <laughs> In that world, to have a crush on someone, it's still like a feeling that you can't just turn it off because the apocalypse is going on and you don't think you have a future together. Like, it's something that's still very much there. In this world, it's often the case that the happiest moments are interrupted by the worst moments. And there's this wonderful moment where Ellie realizes that Riley feels the same way about her that she feels about Riley, and they kiss. Ellie gets to experience first love, first kiss, and then we snatch it away from her. They're attacked and they are both infected. And they believe quite certainly that they are both going to die or turn into a monster. No, 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 no! Where Ellie turns dark and violent, smashing the store up and screaming and just furious, Riley is quiet because Riley has experienced loss. The Ellie we're seeing now has never experienced loss. And Riley does say, we're all going to the same place. Some of us just get there faster than others. But we don't quit on the time we have together. And then cutting that with Joel when he tells Ellie, leave me, and he pushes her away. But that memory is ringing in Ellie's ears, and she knows that she's gonna fight to the bitter end, because the person she loves the most now in this world is Joel, and she'll go to any length to save him. Ellie is thinking about Riley, and she's thinking about the fact that Riley didn't quit on her, Riley didn't walk away, Riley didn't let Ellie kill herself, 
and Ellie's not walking away from Joel. And she walks right back down there and she says, I'm going to keep this moment for as long as I can. For as long as I have you, I'm with you. <laughs>